Got It Made by Kamaya. Kamaya has been building up a reputation on the West Coast for a few years now. She loved music as a child, listening to artists like TLC, Missy Elliott, and Ilya, to name a few. Now that her debut album is here, is she poised to blow up? How do we feel about it? Here's an honest review of Got It Made by Kamaya. Got It Made by Kamaya. We had heard Kamaya a little bit before this. Yeah. BT Cyphers, mm-hmm. uh, other things that she's done, guest appearances, YG, you know, from the Bay. <laughs> How you feel about this album artwork, man? I thought it was cool. I like um, like the color. Like, the color arrangement of the photo is really cool. Like, I don't really know why you're in an umbrella and everything like that, but I like the color composer of the picture. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty cool shot. You know, it looks kind of like Boss. Yeah. She got a Sherbert color shirt on. I it, it is Sherbert color, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, uh, I mean, it's cool. You yeah. Know? The flow of this project, man, this is that straight Bay Area sound. If you rock with it, you rock with it. Pretty much straight West Coast, all straight up. Highlights, 10 toes down is fire. Ten toes high. Ten toes high, my bad. I don't know why I said ten toes <laughs> down. That's just what more people normally say. Ten toes high is fire. It's an amazing song. I really rock with it. Yeah, I love ten toes high as well. And I also like the mood swings. I thought that was pretty cool. Low lights. I don't want to say it's because of Kamaya. Okay. What you want to say? I just don't think I enjoy bass bay music. Why? The only person from the Bay that I actually enjoy E4O? was Mr. Fab. Nah, and I people will probably hate the fact that I even said Mr. Fab. Mm. Like, and and it was only the commercial song "Ghost Ride the Whip." Like, that was it. Like, I just I've tried. I couldn't. I've never really gotten into Too Short. I, I like some Too Short songs, but at the end of the day, this Bay Area sound just ain't for me. Uh, two shorts on one of the songs. Like it is, I, I barely remember anything from this he project. He was on one eight hundred. I'm horny. I figured that was one eight hundred. <laughs> I'm horny. There's a song where they sampled uh, um, like Chapa style or something like that. I can't remember. That's what that was. It, 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 okay. it just, it just didn't do anything for me. Uh, the style she was rapping in, it's, it's just not entertaining. I just don't enjoy music from the Bay. Well, I feel like what was not entertaining to me was just how her voice was mixed with all the production. I really vibe with the production just because it's that West Coast sound and it's always fun to bounce to and everything like that. And I bet you it's something to like driving the whip with too because it just seems like that Bay West Coast type of flavor. But what I didn't really like is just how in the songs she didn't really sound interested. You she know, does, she, she didn't that. sound energetic. She didn't sound like fun. Like when you hear most songs, like one eight hundred, um, I'm horny. Like if it's a strip club song or ass shaking song, you can feel the intensity when somebody's talking about you she know drop the ass. Bad, lazy. Yeah, so it's just like you know that's what I didn't get from this. Like in the uh, freestyles that we saw her in, you know, I thought she did decent and she sounded like she had some energy and tenacity. But with this, it was just like, yo, I'm just in the booth talking this, like this and that. And I also didn't like how her vocals seemed like they were behind the production. Like, it just really didn't seem like she was the forefront. I felt like the album was about the vibe and the production rather than about her vocals. Final thoughts. I don't think I like Bay Area music. <laughs> so from from this point on, I just won't have an opinion on it. Okay. Just just because it's just, I just don't enjoy the sound, mm-hmm. and I just think it's just me. Gotcha. I, I, I grew up on West Coast hip-hop. I, I ended up lo- loving stuff. I, I, I mean, I love stuff from the West Coast. I love game. I love Kendrick Lamar. I love like uh, nwa ice cube ice t but i just the, the bay is just always evaded me I, I can take e40 in doses i can't listen to a whole e40 project okay i know he's a legend he's definitely a legend but it's just not for me shout out to kamaya i wanted to keep doing her thing but i just didn't enjoy this yeah um i didn't really enjoy it either just because it just didn't sound like anything to be enjoyable like when you get something that you hear that doesn't really feel like a vibe like i just really get disinterested even if it's a particular genre or content or substance of music that i really don't like but i just really didn't feel like there was nothing to pick apart from this but one thing i would say i bet you some of these songs have a different flavor when it's performed live 
because I don't really feel like you could probably get the same aspect of it listening to it. I bet you these probably turn up when they're live. Final grade. Look, man, I'm going to give it an X. I'm, I'm going to exit out of reviewing stuff from the Bay Area. I wish I would have screened this before I actually said, let's review this. I just wanted to check out Kamaya just because, you know, she's making a lot of noise in yeah, pop, and I wanted to see what a project from her sounded like. Um, I, I really didn't enjoy it. Ten Toes High is the only song that I enjoyed. I love songs that people tell stories about, like, you know, them kind of turning around and making it in life, but this this project wasn't for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to get it the X as well. I just really don't see there anything to be de- desired from this project, and I just feel like it was just not the best debut. If it's a debut album, you got to come swinging. got to come out with something you know, that people are going to be like, yo, you got to check that out. And if it's for the Bay Area, then they going to recognize it. But as far as, you know, a domestic kind of showing, you want to show people what you can do. And I don't think this is the great offering of what you want to show people. Keep your head up, Kamaya. Keep doing your thing. Keep making more money than me. 